Hey everyone and welcome to my presentation. First of all, thank you very much for having me and especially a big thanks to Trundle for the great organization. The topic I will cover today is Smarter ITSM with Microsoft Teams and Jira Service Management. A quick introduction to myself. I'm Patrick and I started working at Yasun three years ago. I'm mainly responsible for partner management as well as customer support and I'm very happy about the opportunity to showcase you our app based on the ITSM use case. So what can you expect from this presentation? I will show you how to build a strong connection between service agents and customers by using the combined power of Microsoft Teams and Jira. I'm also going to show you how to improve response and resolution time by providing cross-tool communication in real time. And at last, how to ensure clear documentation by linking related conversations to support tickets. Before I dive into the topic, let me briefly introduce you Yasun. We are a German-based company with around 18 employees, which is located in Mannheim, a beautiful city in the south of Germany. We have a strong focus on our development. We have been building powerful apps connecting the Atlassian world with Microsoft 365 tools for more than 10 years now. And I think that more than 8,000 customers are proof enough that we must uh, do something right. In addition, we are very proud to have achieved the Atlassian Platinum Marketplace status, which is a testament to our commitment to, to deliver high quality solutions and great customer service. But enough about us, let's talk about service ticketing. When we think about service ticketing, what is the first thing that comes in mind? I guess we've all been there, the laptop crashes, we can't remember the Wi-Fi password or one of the classics, the print is networking. Usually there are a lot of communication channels used for support. You can always reach out to the service agents in person, write an email or make a quick call. And of course, many companies have service portal for raising requests, but this variety of channels bring up a lot of challenges. Let's take a closer look at it. Support agents always want to work with support tickets centrally. Support tickets are their tracking tool, important, important information is documented there. And of course, there are service level agreements that needs to be considered. The dilemma of a support agent is that requests come in from various channels, making it very difficult for them to manage and stay organized while providing quality support service. Another aspect is that agents spend so much more time on ticket processing because documentation has to be done manually. Phone calls need to be captured and information from an email or chat needs to be copied and pasted into the ticket. As a result, tickets pile up in the queue and agents are overwhelmed by the large numbers of tickets. On the other side, customers don't see the challenges that agents are facing. They expect a fast solution and professional support at any time. There are many approaches to solving these challenges. One of them is called conversational ticketing, which has been invented by Atlassian. But what's behind this term? Here's a quote from the Atlassian homepage. Conversational ticketing is the support that happens in real time between a support professional and a user on a chat platform like Slack or Microsoft Teams. It's fast, human and easy. So basically the idea is to combine all existing channels into one single platform. You have a fast and personal conversation via chat. You can call your colleagues in just a few clicks. And the most important aspect here is that you have the possibility to integrate your service portal right into the chat platform. And looking at these numbers, it becomes even clearer that Microsoft 365 with Microsoft Teams is a solid foundation and tier to stay. There is so much usage on it. They have more than 321 million business users on their Microsoft 365 platform and also more than 270 million monthly active Microsoft Teams users. That's quite impressive. And these are the reasons why we have decided to realize the potential to integrate Jira Service Management with Microsoft 365. 
Now to the exciting part. How can Microsoft 365 and Jira be connected in a powerful way? This is where our app comes in. With Microsoft 365 for Jira, we offer a deep integration between Microsoft tools and the Atlassian world. And we truly believe that our solution is one of the best possible ways to keep your collaboration smooth and easy. But how do we do that? We've built an extension on the Microsoft side, meaning you can access Jira functionalities right in your Microsoft tools. For instance, you can easily turn your emails or Microsoft Teams chats into issues. You are able to access Jira data right in Microsoft Teams and in your Outlook inbox. And you are able to open your company's help desk in Microsoft Teams to raise support tickets. There is also the possibility to work with your Jira issues in your personal Microsoft to-do list. On the Jira side, we optimize single support tickets or issues with Microsoft features. So you don't have to leave Jira to start a Microsoft Teams chat, writing an email or schedule meetings. And for those of you who are working with to-do, you can easily add tasks to your to-do list within Jira. But enough bullet points, I'll show you how this works in action in a short demo video. Let me start with the customer side. In this scenario, I'm Miriam, a designer, and Microsoft Teams is my primary tool of work. Lately, I had some problems with my laptop quite often, and now I would like to contact the support team. Thanks to our app, I'm able to access the company service desk right here in Teams. So let's create a support ticket right away. I want to mention that all categories, request types, and even field configurations are taken over from Jira. So the setup is very easy and there is no need to make additional configurations. Similar to the native service desk, we also suggest knowledge base articles from Confluence based on the, based on the information of the summary field. So that in bet, best case, customer can solve the problem by themselves. And now the ticket is created. Under the My Request tab, I get an overview of all tickets I have raised in the past, so I am always up to date. Now let's continue with the agent side. As you can see, I just received a ticket in our queue. Since I need further information to solve the ticket, I must contact Miriam. To speed things up, I just open a Teams chat directly in my Jira ticket. And since Miriam is the creator of the ticket, she is already pre-selected. Our app also recognizes if this chat is a chat with a customer or an internal chat with a colleague of the support team. Before I send out a message, I also have the option to decide who can view the chat history. So in case sensitive data is shared, I just set this to private. But of course, you can also set this on share to allow colleagues to view the chat and even join. This is especially useful in case of absence due to illness, so no information is lost and my colleagues can continue working on the ticket without any problems. I can also choose if notifications like status changes or approvals should be posted in the chat. And with one click, the chat is created. As you can see, the SLA is also stopped thanks to an automation rule I set up in advance. Miriam now has received my message in Teams and can reply right away. There is also a tab in this chat where I can view the support ticket and, for instance, can change the status in case I was able to solve the issue by myself and there is no need for support anymore. Let us jump back to Jira. As an agent, I have also the possibility to start a channel conversation. This is especially useful when you have a dedicated Microsoft Teams channel with all support agents. For example, when I don't know how to solve this issue, I can easily post a ticket into the channel and ask my, my team for advice. Also, this conversation will be documented within the ticket and no information will be lost. The last feature I want to show is our meetings integration. With this, I can easily schedule meetings without leaving Jira. And as you can see, our app suggests all available time slots for the people who are involved in the ticket. So I don't have to waste time finding a suitable time slot for an appointment, which could be very annoying sometimes. I also have the option to add a Microsoft Teams link or book a meeting room. The good thing here is 
that also the chat of the meeting is automatically linked with this ticket. Now let me resolve the ticket. With the status change, our bot automatically sends the final message into the chat with the customer, including the customer satisfaction survey. And that's it. Of course, I couldn't show you all features of our app, but I hope I was able to give you a good overview. Let me summarize the benefits. With our integration and thanks to the power of chats, you are able to build a strong and personal connection between service agents and customers and increase customer satisfaction. Another advantage of our integration is that communication is much faster, especially compared to writing emails and tickets can be resolved more quickly as a result. And finally, support agents no longer have to copy and paste information manually since chats are clearly documented in the support ticket. If you like to see more, feel free to contact me via email or visit our virtual booth. Really looking forward to it. And here is what's coming up next. Exciting talks about exploring HR service delivery automation and supercharge your ITSM with, cu with customized workflows. Enjoy it.